Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there. This is Granny Gamester here with your Conan Exiles Beginner's Guide. Now I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and today's guide I'm going to talk about food preservation using the dryer and the preservation box. Now we're going to start with the dryer which is right behind me here and you can find this in your feats. So I'm going to scroll over to feats and then scroll over to survivalist and then down to primitive cook and this is where you will find it right here now you need to be a level 19 to make this and you also have to have a prerequisite of the campfire now it takes uh, 20 shaped wood and 10 twine to make and it uses bark exclusively for fuel yeah that's the only thing you can put in it to have it work and uh, yeah, I suggest you have more than one around your base um, as they will produce different products for you, depending on what you're doing. So we're gonna start over in the kitchen. I always have one in my kitchen. And all um, shellfish and fish will produce dried fish on your dryer. So, you know, have one close to your fishing spot too. I do that as well as in my kitchen. So uh, all raw meats, including human flesh, will produce dried meat on the drying rack. But some cooked foods, like exquisite meat, cooked pork rinds, and grilled steak will also give you dried meat on the drying rack. And this is because uh, dried fish and meat will last longer in your inventory before spoiling than others. So, yeah. And also... Um, in your drying rack you can put highland berries in there and desert berries and the product will be dried berries yeah which you can use in cooking uh, especially or you can eat them as they are they're just they just don't give you much in the way of uh, yeah restoring your hunger but um, they will also produce seeds from that which is my next um, drying rack here which i put over here i you know i usually keep it in my garden but i don't have a garden yet so uh, we're gonna do this here so if you open this up um you can see i have a lot of berries in here and this is because every plant that you put in there now i have the black lotus flower in here and from that i will get seeds now for every three plants you put in you will get one packet of seeds so for uh say the golden lotus plants i put in 12 and i got four packets of seeds here yeah so very very handy for this because if you live in an area where there's not a whole lot of aloe plants you can just bring a home a bunch of aloe plants plop them into this dryer and it'll produce seeds and you can plant them in your planters and grow them on your own and this is particularly good for the rarer uh, flowers like the black lotus and the golden lotus flower uh, yeah they're not easy to get so just get a bunch bring them home and start making seeds yeah yeah very very nice very handy in that respect um, then also if you put branches in your dryer now, I might have some in here that I can kind of demonstrate this. Yeah, I do. I got like six. So let's pop those in here. Now, if you put branches in your dryer, you'll get dried wood. Yeah, very nice because dried wood is used to make insulated wood, which is uh, a requirement from some of the building pieces and other things uh, also. So, uh, yeah, I will keep one here at my carpenter's bench. And uh, branches are, you know, easy to come by, but another way that you can get them really easy is when you kill a level one or two bearer thrall, the backpack that he drops sometimes contains a bundle of 500 branches or so. So yeah, don't, don't throw them away, bring them home and, and throw them in, in here. And voila, you've got some dried wood. Yeah, so put it to good use. And then um, last but not least, if you put wood in your dryer, and this is the reason why I keep one between my two forges here, and this one is cooking away, but I have quite a bit of wood, um, you will get dried wood as well, but you will also get resin when you put wood in here. And the reason I like to make a lot of dried wood is because if I'm not near an area, my base is not near an area that has a lot of coal, 
dried wood is just as good as coal. Yeah, in here. Yeah, the burning time um, is equal to the coal. So that's really, really handy if you are near where there's a lot of trees, but no coal. So yeah, that is that is the basics of the of the drying rack. Yeah, very, very handy. So have a few of them around your base. And then of course we have the preservation box. Now this is, in my view, just like an ice box. Yeah. So let's go into our feet here. Whoops, no, we didn't want to do that. We aren't on the right one here. I don't want to be on that. There we go. You want to scroll over to your feet and then again scroll over to your survivalist and then down to primitive cook and you will find your preservation box right here. Now you do need to be a level 43 to get this and the prerequisite is the drying rack. And uh, to make this, uh, it, you can do it in your hand crafting once you learn this. And it takes 20 hardened steel bars to make, two insulated wood and two black ice. Now we know the black ice is easy to find at um, Starfall Ridge, the same place where we get um, Delincia. So it's, it's not hard to come by once you're up at this level. So uh, yeah, now the ice box um, acts as an ice box because you must put ice in it to keep foods from decaying. And the basic preservation box has 20 slots in it. Yeah. And ice is also easy to get. Same place. Go to Starfall Ridge um, where you get Delincia. And there's plenty of ice up there to be had and easy to get. Now, it doesn't take a lot of ice uh, to make this preservation box work. You only need one. But I usually keep 25 in here in case I need it for cooking or if I'm going to go to a place where it's really hot, like the volcano, you know, I might have a few to start out with in that case. So I always do keep a little more. So uh, the premise of the preservation box is pretty much anything that has a timer on it, the preservation box will stop the timer. Yeah. So if you see these uh, eggs that you get, if I take this out of the preservation box, you can see that it's going to expire in 9 minutes and 19 seconds and it's ticking down. But once I put it back into the preservation box, that timer goes away. Yeah. They will stay fresh in here for as long as you keep them in here and you have at least one ice in here. Yeah, pretty easy. And the same as the dryers, I will keep several of these in different spots on my base. So near the kitchen and the fishing spot, uh, I will put raw meats into one, which is this side. And then on this side, I will put all my cooked foods in here. And these are all the ones that will spoil and all cooked foods do spoil right along with um, your shade spiced foods, which you make for pets. That's much later in the game, but you don't want those spoiling because they're, they're not all that easy to make. So, and the same with soups and, and so forth. So, uh, yeah. And then of course, I like to keep one where my fermentation barrel is. And, um, yeah, he's, <laughs> I think he's bored. Poor old Bergoras. <laughs> he's just standing there kind of weird. <laughs> He's having a bad day. <laughs> so this preservation box, as you can see, I keep all my drinks in. And I will also put my gruel in here because gruel does spoil as well. And because I have this little campfire here that I make gruel on, um, yeah, I will put it right here. So it's handy for when I need it to uh, feed my thralls that are protecting my base. So then I will also keep one next to the alchemist bench. And the reason for that is some potions that you make will have a timer on them and spoil. Now this potion of midnight is extremely fragile. If I take this out, it's probably going to expire. Right now it doesn't have an expiration, but if you see on, yeah, it's gone already, I think. No, seven seconds we got. So we'll put it back in there. Yeah, it doesn't take much for that to spoil. And the same with the potion of beastal memory, which resets your attribute points. And then the Lotus Potion, which um, 
causes hallucinations and, and visions. And I do think, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think this re, will reset your feats and attributes at the same time. And then we have the potion of natural healing um, that will reset your feet points. So if you want to um, change your feet points around, you got a few things in there that you don't really need and you wished you hadn't done it, uh, you can reset them by drinking one of these potions. And then, of course, there's the Heart of the Hero out there. Now, this Heart of the Hero expires, as you can see. It's going to expire in 33 minutes and 27 seconds. And uh, that will cure corruption if you eat it. So it's handy to hang on to that and keep it in your preservation box for when you need it. So if you don't have a dancer, you can always use one of those um, if you have it handy. So then um, the best part, I think, <laughs> Is we're gonna go down to this now I keep this just randomly anywhere but as you can see your babies have a timer on them now this fawn expires in 23 days 56 minutes and 13 seconds and I'm not ready to I don't even have a pen yet but I've come across these and by all means pick them up if you have a preservation box because you can pop them in there and they will stay until you're ready to grow them up. Now this is the same with um, ostrich egg, the rock nose egg, uh, shoebill eggs. If, so if you go to Buccaneer Bay and you buy some of these and they're gonna cost you some money, uh, you don't wanna lose them uh, just because you've been running around. <laughs> yeah, come back to your base and throw them in the, in the preservation box and they'll keep. And the same way with fat grubs, uh, they do expire and We'll scroll on him here and as you can see he's only got four minutes yeah about five minutes or so so uh if you're not ready to use them yet just take them out of your compost pile and throw them in here and the same with a handful of insects if you're out gathering and you get a bunch of these um, as you can see these only have nine minutes left on them yeah throw them in your preservation box until you're ready to go fishing with them or whatever it is you you're going to do with them yeah very, very, very handy. So um, that's it for the preservation boxes. Uh, they're, they're actually uh, wonderful. And again, I don't care what you come across and I probably missed a few things. Uh, as long as it has a timer, you can put it in the preservation box and the timer will stop. The decaying will stop for as long as you leave them in there. But again, you must have at least one ice in there. And then there's the improved preservation box. Now you get this at level 55 and it takes 20 star metal and two insulated wood and four black ice to make. Now this box works exactly like the preservation box. The only difference with this one is that it has uh, 40 slots um, versus, you know, the 20 slots that the um, preservation box has yeah it just holds a lot more that's all there is to it yep so you know you can have your choice you can wait until you get star metal to make this one or you can just make several of these it doesn't you know doesn't matter which way you decide to do it so yeah preserving your food guys very very important plus producing um some goods that you didn't know you could do on the dryer rack so yeah well all right guys if you liked, give me that big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next guide. Well, all right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, GG out.